Hi, in this video I'm going to be talking about makeup and the risk of breast cancer. What's the connection between makeup we put on our face and the development of breast cancer? A lot of people are really worried about this. Of course, we don't really understand what causes breast cancer and we want to reduce our risk of exposing ourselves to anything in our environment, including what we put on our face, in terms of developing the risk of breast cancer. So the connection between makeup and cancer is because some makeup contains talc, and talcum powder, or talc, is closely related to asbestos. In fact, 14% of makeup products that have talc in them have asbestos. We know that exposing oneself to asbestos can increase the risk of cancer. Perhaps a cancer you're used to thinking of is mesothelioma, which is a cancer that lines the lungs and even the abdomen after exposure, respiratory exposure, to asbestos. People who work in shipyards are exposed to asbestos, and schools and other old buildings where we do asbestos abatement, we're really careful to avoid exposing people in the building and asbestos workers to asbestos because of the risk of inhaling asbestos. So what does this have to do with breast cancer? Well, there's actually no clear connection between asbestos and breast cancer, but it is important to know that there is a connection with talc in particular and cancer of the uterus and ovaries. So you may have heard of the class action lawsuit against manufacturers that created talc for personal use, and that's because of this connection between the asbestos in talc and the risk of ovarian cancer and also endometrial cancer. So ideally one would avoid exposure to these if possible, but if you have used makeup that has talc in it and you're worried about it, especially with regard to breast cancer, again, there's no evidence that's related, and in terms of the number of cases of cancer caused by talc or the asbestos that's in talc, it's really quite low. There are things you can do to reduce your risk of breast cancer. If you have an inherited susceptibility to cancer, talk with your medical team about surgery or medications such as tamoxifen you can take to reduce your risk of getting breast cancer. Other things you can do are avoid alcohol, stay active, have a very um, varied diet, lots of leafy greens, for example. And as always, make sure you get screening tests, which don't actually prevent cancer, but they detect it early. I hope this has been helpful. Click like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and as always, you can go to yerba.com for your personalized report.